Good morning, everybody. And yes, it's morning coffee and meds are on board. Um, well, I'm working on them anyways. We are here today to do our pick and choose. Um, again, like, like I've said before, if you haven't watched for an episode or so, whatever, um, I went from cards to these sticks because I had a lot more prompts in here. And I like the idea of having more prompts because it just opens up more creativity. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick six. I cannot see them. See? I can't see them. They're all shut. I cannot. I have no idea what's in them unless I really start looking. So I'm not going to do that. All right, here we go. One, two, is that one or two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so let's put these back up here and let's see what lucky things we have to do today. First one is use a jelly print as a dress or drop high, drop ink from up high in three spots. I think I've had seen this one before. Um, next one, stamp into gesso with mark making tools or draw flowers along the outside edge. Okay. Uh, use a Stabilo pencil to add shadows or use your finger to paint dashes. Interesting. Um, do not use primary colors. Use Sharpies to doodle at the top and bottom. Okay. Well, these are definitely interesting, aren't they? Again, remember these are only suggestions. Follow them if you want to, but you know, I just, it gives me an idea just to start creating and that's what I enjoy. Um, draw three colored pencil, draw three colored pencils with Sharpies or use dots to outline focal point. And the last one is use pink to paint flowers or skipped every other prompt starting with this one. So let's see, if I skipped every other prompt, let's see what happens. So if I skip that and do this one, skip that and do this one and skip that. No, I don't like that idea. So we're gonna figure something out. All right, I've got to figure out what idea, well, how I'm gonna do these, I'm not really sure yet, but I'm gonna get them all together, get all my supplies out here and I'll be back in a minute.
so my last prompt was use dots to outline my focal points. So here's what I did if you guys for some reason skip through. I stamped into gesso with the mark making tools. I used a, this is a, a tiny potato masher supposedly. I use it for in here. Um, I used some of this which is uh, the punchella. And what else did I use? Some circle. Where'd it go? Um, I don't know where it is here on my desk. Uh, it seems to have disappeared. So anyways, I, I used a circle as well. All right, so I did that. And when it said to do it in gesso, I didn't really want a white background. So that's why I used some ink in the gesso just to give it that pale blue. And then um, the second thing was to drop ink from up high. So I used the same ink only in the full form. The, um, not full form. Not watered down or gessoed down. All right. Um, next one was to use pink to paint flowers. I was just playing. Are they flowers? Yeah, I guess so, but eh, whatever. Um, they're okay. They're good flowers. All right. Next one was to use a Stabilo pencil to add shadow. So I just kind of was thinking the light was coming this way. So I just add a little bit of darkness here on the bottom. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Use Sharpies to doodle at the top and the bottom. Um, <laughs> my A friend of mine calls these my, my um, humps. My little do 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 So anyways, uh, I did those on the top and bottom. And I just did either lines or, or dots. And then I just did like a stitch thing along the, the other outside. The There you go. And then it says use dots to outline the focal points. Um, I really didn't want to outline where this um, eye zinc is. And if you guys haven't seen this before, this is a paint. It's an eye zinc. It's called diamond. It's, it's a glitter paint, but the glitter stays there. Once it dries, the glitter doesn't go anywhere. Um, whenever I want to use glitter, I love this stuff because it works fabulous. So anyways, um, the dots I did were on the inside. I did the white dots of all the petals and there she be. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll make sure that all of these prompts are in the description box below. Please share with me a photo if this is something you do. I do have a Facebook page called Artsy Endeavors. I need to get back on there and get moving with that one again, but that's just a little side note. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. I can't wait to see what you create and talk to you later. Bye. Bye.